Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions. We're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. Okay, just want to thank everyone. We're up to uh, 238 subscribers and a little bit under 7,300 viewers. Uh, views, excuse me. One thing I wanted to uh, mention is that if your organization is looking for a ServiceNow professional to come in and either do SLAs, project management, or some admin work, I am available. Okay, moving on. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to update the conditions field to use Condition Builder V2. So uh, you use the Condition Builder a lot when you're doing SLAs, so I figured that'll probably be the best example. So what I did was I found an SLA definition, and the way I did that was to go into SLA definitions or type in LA space DE here. SLA definitions is what you click on, and then you'll have a list there. After you click on one of them, like this alert SLA, for example, we see the form, and what we want to do is go to the start condition right here, right click on it, or if you're using a Mac like myself, you'll click configure dictionary. When you do that, this will pop up right here. Then we're going to add an attribute to it. Uh, if you remember in the last video, uh, we did the condition counts equals true, which helps us obtain a number of records that that condition would apply to. Kind of actually does reporting for us, if you think about it, uh, before we even test the SLA. So it's, it's really good stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add another one called condition, condition underscore builder equals V2. Click save. And we'll go back to the original form. Now we're going to reload the form. And what you'll see is, this takes a second. You'll see it looks a little bit different. So if you want that preview of the number of records that match, click that. If we wanted to add new criteria, and we could do a or, what's called an or clause, which is fundamentally different than doing or right here. Um, and we'll just take a look at the difference. Stop condition, it looks a little bit different, correct? So here we have add filter condition, add or clause. So it is a little bit different, but I wanted to note how to do that. And uh, I've received some questions. Why does this look a little bit different? Well, this is version two, and the other one I showed in the stop condition, this is version one. Okay, well, that's it for today. If you could please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. My birthday is coming up, but I'd like to have 1,000 subscribers by then. Um, that's Tuesday next week, so i uh, really appreciate it. We just unlocked the power of service now. Thank you, and have a great day.